Hello, I am Simulator Dirk. Konnichiwa. And welcome to Japan Truck Simulator. Today we are in Japan. We're in Kobe behind my new depot. I have transferred to Kobe depot. Now, at the end of the last episode, I showed you a Japanese truck which would in theory make things easier to drive around the narrow streets of Japan the Mitsubishi Fuso but on this episode to start with I am going to show you this Mercedes Benz which is painted in an anime theme which came from the Steam Workshop and behind is the trailer that I showed you at the end of the last episode it's a uh, very short trailer which will be a lot easier for taking loads around the narrow streets of Japan. So it's early in the morning, it's just after 5am. Uh, we have all of our garages full of drivers and full of trucks and they're out and about and we won't actually see those drivers but over the next couple of episodes we'll be showing you some alternative trucks and testing some alternative trucks that I don't know will be staying in the fleet at this stage. I'm still looking for some more Japanese trucks even though there is a Scania dealer around and there's also an MAN dealer around that we've found uh, there is a matching trailer to go with this with a similar sort of scheme and others but this uh, type of trailer and with longer versions of it they're the only ones that I have access to at the moment as I'm only level 5. Even some of my modern trailers and modern trucks I don't have access to yet because I'm only level 5. But this truck, and this is the um, smallest Mercedes Benz that I could get. We can see on the back here that it's limited to, or the speed limit rather, is 80 kilometres an hour. Just get around those trees. If we don't have a job yet, I'll be looking for a job shortly let's go right into that now so we have a trailer attached so we go into job market then we go into cargo market because we're using our own trailer if I dump the trailer and if I was using other people's trailers I would go into the freight market so we are in Kobe so let's see what we've got. We've got uh, we'll sort by destination. Pardon me. So we'll sort by destination. So we've got empty thirteen tons of empty pallets, ten tons of graphite grease to a couple of different um, from a couple of different locations to the same location in Hakusan. 11 tons of plant subtrate, 10 tons of graphite grease, 13 tons of sawdust panels, 13 tons of empty pallets, 14 tons of chewing gum. Uh, 13 tons of sawdust panels, um, 13 tons of empty pallets, 12 tons of fertilizer, 14 tons of chocolate, 9 tons of straw bales, 15 tons of bottled water, that's just a local job from Kobe to Kobe, um, plant subtrate from Kobe to Kobe, Uh, 10 tonnes of carrots from Kobe to Kobe, 
uh, 12 tons of flour, 7 tons of beans, 14 tons of lemonade, 15 tons of carbonated water, and then we have 5 tons of toys, 10 tons of graphite grease, uh, 11 tons of peas, 11 tons of plant subtrate, 7 tons of sandwich panels, so we've got a lot of work in Kobe. Uh, 10 tons of graphite grease, 40 tons of lemonade, 5 tons of cauliflower, 9 tons of straw bales, 13 tons of empty pallets. Still going on from Kobe. 7 tons of chemical sorbent, 15 tons of carbonated water, 11 tons of bags of seeds, 7 tons of oil filters, 13 tons of empty pallets, 11 tons of peas, 7 tons of chemical sorbent, 9 tons of canned beans, 5 tons of cauliflower, 15 tons of bottled water, and then pet, plant subtrate, chocolate, non-alcoholic beer, Ruth Lights, carrots, chocolate, non-alcoholic beer, carbonated water, empty pallets, empty pallets, sawdust panels, graphite grease, carbonated water, tyres, fertiliser, lemonade, peanut butter, chocolate, milk, fertiliser, Bags of seeds, empty pallets, chewing gums, toys, empty pallets. This is all from Kobe. Outdoor floor tiles, used packaging, chocolate, non-alcoholic beer, potatoes, chocolate, lemonade, roofing felt, roofing felt, chewing gums, peas, ketchup, fertilizer, sugar, and bottled water. And that is all from Kobe. So what I might do... is go back to our local Kobe to Kobe list. So, all right, so if we look on our map, so if we go to our map and look for where Target is in relation to us, We are... Okay, target's over there. Where am I? You are here is the arrow. Oh, so we're over there. Uh, oh, that's a non-truck route, obviously. Um, so, if we're there. There's our garage. We're there. SAL. What's SAL? So, if we pick a job from SAL, that looks that's our closest. Or TE Logistico, which is just across the road. So if we go back to our job market, cargo market, uh, we pick Kobe. Alright, there's an SAL, there's an SAL, there's an SAL.
we seemingly had a lot more Kobe to Kobe's Okay, so SAO They're only short trips, but Let's get in the truck Morning Skynet Right, in the cab, lights on for safety, wipers on for visibility. So our GPS is set for where we need to pick the load up from. Now we've got our own fuel bowser. So that's cool, we're full of fuel. This is a resting place, but you are not tired right now. So, we've gone through the garage. There's TE Logistics, that's where we're delivering to. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Well, certainly makes things a lot easier. So this is a side of truck simulator that I haven't really discovered before, or haven't really done a lot of before. Having a trailer that I own going to and from headlight usage affairs, so they want it on. There we go. I thought I turned it on already. Go straight on. <laughs> Truck seat still seems to be too wide. these narrow streets anyway, so... Go straight on. Right. Turn right. 
one of the things that I'm hoping this will do, this will hopefully let us level up a lot quicker because we're doing a lot of, the plan is to do a lot of short jobs, Kobe to Kobe today. While they're short of jobs, we're while they're short of jobs, we are getting point, we're getting points every few minutes rather than one big a lot of points um, just at the end of the episode after say 90 minutes or two hours of driving. Alright, um Alright, the gate's there. This is where it ends. Kick your sky net. Oh, it's S A O R S R L. All right, view the job offer, which I thought we'd already done. Um, right, Kobe to Kobe, take the job. The cargo is ready to be loaded. Please move to the green area. up the delivery so they're loading the cargo for us so that's part of the travel time a new route so we've got our load on board now Job offer. We've already got our load on board. Turn right. Still gotta watch out even though we've got the X's, there's hardly anybody around. Right. Alright, 
So here we are at TA Logistics. Finally, we are here. We were five minutes Skylab. So there we go, we delivered carbonated water from Kobe to Kobe, 3 minutes, 39 minutes including loading. And we got, th oh wow, for all that we got 3 XP. This is going to be a grind. But, now we're at GE Logistics. Now that we're here, so now we're here, we could go to a whole heap of different places if we don't want to go Kobe Kobe. So load up from here, or if we want to load somewhere else. So let's have a look at our Kobe to Kobe. So let's go to target. Ready to roll. Reroute. Oh, that was a breeze. Got it. Just for something different, we're going to go on to a toll road.
So that's one of those um, sort of overhead gear trees, so you don't have to stop at the actual boob gates, or you'll only have to stop at the boob gates at the end. But there's no boob gates at the start on this one, obviously. Turn our wipers off. Off. Depending on where you're going, sometimes it just seems like you're driving off motorways in just circles. in the centre of Kobe now rather than just um, suburban um, suburban sections of Kobe but we're more downtown and in, in the industrial area Going it straight on. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. So now instead of the um, company we're driving for paying those toll charges, I'm paying those toll charges. Because it's my company. Go straight on. That worked out well with the lights. Straight on. Thank you, Skynet. Keep right and then turn right. Right. Um. Sometimes you have to search for where the light is because they're not necessarily on every corner. All right, here we are. Oh, 
I went down towards the ferry terminal and the um, and the port. Those box trucks, project to pay and make it happen, boys. Keep left and then turn left. Now I believe how far we're actually going empty doesn't count in the delivery time and also it doesn't count in terms of XP. Keep left and then turn left. Target. Just a matter of how we get into it, I guess. Keep left and then turn left. We can't get out of turn, turn right. Left. We have arrived on target. Finally, we are here. Now. Oh, it's all over now. We're not going to get up. Finally, we're here. View the job offer. Cargo markets. All right, KB to KB, which is what we wanted. 12 tons of flour. Let's, let's get loaded. Loading our cargo. Never mind. I'll find a new route. All right. All right. So let's get. Oh, with the target side of the background. That's an idea. So here's, our, here's a good view of our truck in the daylight. Let's get in our truck. So 
So nine kilometres, 21 minutes. I've seen that must be a camper vans. Follow the camping van. Keep right and then turn right. That's an interesting merge onto um, from the centre of the road. So in the top right hand corner we're receiving information about our drivers. And then turn left. So enter onto here and then exit onto here. Turn left. And we get the light. Awesome. Keep right and then turn right. Um, Skynet's obviously a lot more Turn home here right. in Japan than what she is on the Australian map. It's all looking fantastic at the Turn new version. Back. Three minutes ago, we're almost there.
go straight on. Oh, you can actually do a U-turn there, according to the road markings. Oh, here's a Fuso. His Fuso looks a bit more modern than mine. We'll get back into the Fuso, but there's a couple of other vehicles I want to show you before that. Were you supposed to tell me something, Skynet? You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Thank you, Skynet. Nine minutes, sorry, nine kilometers, 50 minutes, including loading, 17,000 yen, nine XP. Now, we are at Lenstar Logistics. Now, let's see if there is a KB to KB that we can do from here. There is we can do seven tons of beans. Time to get the job done, recomputing. So they've actually, so this is a good thing. We were, we were loaded from target to here, and then they loaded us here, because we dropped it off here, they loaded us here, because that's where our next load was coming from. Be running on them. We didn't even have to move the truck for them to unload and then load the new truck. Okay, let's find finding a new reroute. Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Thank you, Skynet. Now, I haven't mucked around with traffic mods because this is a modified map, so I haven't mucked around with it, even though there should be more traffic than what there is. signs of ridiculously small. Yes, I can. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. So realistically, we're probably heading into the same general direction of the target distribution center, which is where we just came from. But sometimes this is local trucking. 
and some people just do local trucking all day. And that's one area that the, the various exit the various truck simulators, US and Europe truck simulators, that they haven't taken into account local deliveries and what some of the local deliveries would be holding i.e. box trucks and small rigids Turn right. Oh, we're also near the IKEA. Turn right. Thank you. Oh, there's a forklift driving it around. Was a nice ride. Thank you, Skynet. Your company as always is appreciated. kilometers 44 minutes including loading 16 just over 16 and a half thousand yen 9 xp um, current company offers have we got any Kobe to Kobe from here Now let's see, do we have anything from the IKEA? Which is just across the road. Now I'm just looking local to local. Where no, we're at Well, Matt. 
Oh, so we're j and we're just around from Target as well, so. So IKEA, PJ or Target. Just looking to stay Kobe to Kobe for a minute. Drive safe. Now we should already be here. So what it might want us to do, I'm going to leave the trailer there just for a moment. Him. Yeah, they want us to head back to our trailer. So it's been loaded. So what I want to do for my screen cap... Right. To hit the road. They're loading the trailer. Trailer's loaded. Oh, they actually moved... Alright, let's hit the road, it's going it! Let's go. New load on. Never mind. I'll find. 
find a new route. Please make a U-turn when possible. Uh, we're all good to go in it. Turn right. And then exit left. there when I was coming across, I got a signal when I was coming across and I had room and he just kept coming. Oh yeah, this is the same ramp that we just were on. Then turn left. Turn left. The um, smaller trailer certainly makes it easier. Certainly a lot more manoeuvrable. Go straight on. Even though the, the truck's basically, I think, basically the same size as it was before in the last episode. But I made sure that I could get the smallest Mercedes Benz that I could. Good one.
Mississippi hard road network to map to. It's just not all on the ground. It's and this is what it's really like in Japan. There's a lot of elevated freeways, or as they tend to call them, expressways. Double pitchfork and a box. made a delivery There's a double pitch for open the square. I'm oh, sorry, a rectangle. Pass a transponder, so that's automatically paid for us. No beam gate. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Thank you, Skynet. Thank you, Skynet. Eighteen kilometers, an hour and six minutes, including loading. Still level five. Carrots delivered from Kobe to Kobe. So from where we are, we've got a bit to choose from. 
do we have any cobay to cobay? No, we don't. But what I'm going to do now is actually go back to the depot because it's nearly lunchtime. That was easy. Loving this small trailer. So we shouldn't be that far from our actual depot. And there it is, just up the road. And I'm going to show you the process of how to change trucks. Wrong way violation, I was turning into my garage. seemingly not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go thing is though no one else is here. I'm going to dump our trailer. Alright. So we've detached We've detached our truck, our trailer. Truck from our trailer, there we go. So we've detached that. Now, if we turn off our truck. Now, if we go into our truck manager and we'll have a look. We'll sort it by garage. So there's me. There's Jennifer. Scarlett's on a job. Kathy's on a job. I'm back at base. So I'm going to drive the Fuso. Hang on. The swap will take four hours because the truck is currently on a job. Um, let's see. That will take four hours because you're on a job. Oh, that will take two hours. We'll take that one. Alright, now we have a new truck. Or well, a new-ish truck. It's actually an old truck. Uh, it's an old Hino, or Hino if you prefer. Until I find a more modern one. So, here it is. So, we'll get our trailer. So, we'll go into our trailer manager. And we'll use it. Now our trailer's attached. And it actually looks quite good. So it's a bit smaller than what the Mercedes was. But that is the truck that we'll be driving on the next episode. Uh, we've had our lunch break. 
so it is time to drive the Hino, the Hino, and we'll do that on the next episode. I've been Simulator Deck, you've been wonderful, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now. Let's have a look at our truck. Turn ready on. to rock. You ready to rock, Miss Sky? We're at the container terminal again. We're in a Volvo uh, this time. Let's go. Rather enthusiastic Skynet today. Okay, let's find a new route. <laughs> let's do that Skynet. Let's find a new route as you call it.